This is one for the ages. An event like no other. A lineup so stacked that people thought it was a prank. We couldn't miss this one. So come along for the ride. We are super excited to be headed back to California in the Coachella Valley for the first ever Power Trip Festival to see bands that shaped modern rock music and tick some big names off our bucket lists. Come with us, TPD TV, as we sample everything this event has to offer, from the music to the food, from the toilets to the activities. We're here to show you if this incredibly expensive festival is worth your hard-earned money. We are TPD TV. This is Power Trip. So come and join us for the real deal. Thank you so much to our executive producers on Patreon. We could not keep doing this if it wasn't for you. Join now for early access videos and extended cuts. Right then, so here we are at Power Trip Festival in California. One of the biggest events that's been put on all year. Seemed like it was just a joke or a prank because it looked so good when the poster came out. So what do we think? I'm here to report that, to be honest, this time, it's not actually been that good. This has been the worst event I've ever been to. It was a festival that I went to that was barely a festival. We have a passenger coming with us today to LA to celebrate their 30th birthday. So if anybody could help wish Jake Foley a happy 30th birthday. We've had a fantastic night's sleep. About 10 hours yeah, of yeah, blissful nice. sleep on really comfy beds. Yeah, really mm -hmm. comfy. Everyone get your power trip wristband on and then we're locked in and no one can back out. So Dan, don't, probably don't put yours on actually because we won't mind if you didn't come with us. That's rude. Coffee, Coffee breakfast, breakfast time. Time. Target. Target. That's nice weather. God, I love it round here. Wow. I know I said there's no such thing as too much footage, but maybe we're over indexing a little bit here. Please be careful out there. We want you all back safe and sound tomorrow. And until tomorrow, my dear friends, rock on and God bless America. See ya. Oh, yeah. How's your food? <laughs> you enjoying it? Yes. Yeah. Gorgeous. Cheers. Can you fuck off now? Now we're off to Target yeah, to do our are. shop. And it's Halloween time, that which means, means there's going to be lots of candy in there. And one thing I love. Cock. Have a look at the world's shittest reversing camera here. Look at that. You bin. I just got this basket for my personal things like beauty. What a nice guy. Shout out to Mark absolutely. at this Target for absolutely bringing the good vibes and the energy and just so nice there shout out to mark he really a what a really he nice so guy nice. 872 fucking dollars in that shop oh God. now we're gonna go and show you everything that we bought in rapid fire succession gazebo monster hard seltzers modello cooler crisps fruity modello truly hard seltzers five pillows but we only paid for four of them because rob said four until not five a towel bud light and a matching pigskin orange juice and cranberry juice truly hard seltzers and some budweiser's truly tropical hard Hard seltzers, pop tarts, cups, orange juice, and socks. Another pillow. Hard seltzers. Two blankets, six packs of almonds, and two bottles of Smirnoff vodka. Hard seltzers and Budweiser. Breakfast bars, deodorant, aloe vera, some Starbucks caramel minis, and a piss bottle. Fruit winders, mini M and M's, cheese its, and starbursts. Gatorade, fruit punch, and ginger ale. Shower gel, sweet relish, and loads of snacks. A well cheese. And a shampoo! Some crisps, some sun cream, some nuts, blankets and some makeup stuff for Dan. Big bag of sweets and a blanket. Twisted hard iced tea. Gatorade, the blue ones. Big water. 32 waters. 32 more waters. That's a lot of waters. 32 waters again. The last 32 waters. One water. And a singular diet mountain dew for me right now. Oh, and there's one more thing here as well. Oh. Look what it is, everyone. What is it? It's the like button. <laughs> and everyone, come and press this like button. <coughs> Quick, it's heavy. Oh, oh, there it goes. God, that is a lot of stuff in there. Well done, team. One team, one fight, baby. What's that do? Mountain Dew for you. Please. Does anyone have a cold drink? Can I have a swig of that? Oh, it's diet. Why'd you get diet by yeah. mistake? Yeah, exactly. Right then, power trippers. 
Here we are in the Coachella Valley for the first time in this time of year. It's going to be fucking sweltering. So prepare yourself. Now let's go to the festival. Mary just said this might be the hottest she's ever been. It's going to get seven degrees more. If we haven't told you yet, this is in the same spot that Coachella is. It's run by all the same people, same organizers. It's quarter to midday. We turn up to Coachella at what, four in the morning? Yeah. And there's an enormous queue. This place opened at nine. And it is, and it's dead. All right, we've been searched. We've been scanned in. The van has thankfully passed as a car because it is a big van and we were a little apprehensive it might get flagged as an RV, which means the extra grand on top. It's power trip 2023, probably the only power trip. Yeah, the only one they'll probably ever do. All right, and just like that, after a long couple of days, TPD TV are back in the Coachella Valley. Dan, you're gonna point now to how much we've already spent just to be stood here. I tell you what, it was this much, and how mad is that? Now, as someone who, this is kind of a bit of a dream event, but it is very much priced out of most people's uh, budget. We would never no. be able to do this if it wasn't for you lot watching and I our Patreons and our that. sponsors. Um, so thanks so much, first of all, but let's make it clear, it's very fucking expensive, too expensive. We'll leave it at that and we'll get everything set up. Yes. Step one, gazebo. Yeah. Yep. 37 degrees it gets to today so you've got to make sure that you're topped up with this is actually my favorite um sun lotion or whatever you want to call it the cheapest one in target i think but it's really nice me and mk are on ice duty i don't know if we've mentioned this four times already but it is warm it's it's kind of like making me panic a bit because i don't know how i'm gonna be able to last hey cheers cheers first drinkers at yeah. festival eh? you and i Oh, that's what we like to see. Let hey, wait, wait, wait. There. Feel how hot that handle is. Whew. How much was it, Mary, for two bags of ice? 28, 28. 28, 28. It was very cheap. Wasn't it, it was, wasn't it? It was like five dollars. Mm, something like that. I'm sweating. It's bad. It hot. You can see it on the front of my t-shirt coming through there. Dread to think what the back's like. So we've got the first layer of drinks in the cooler, ready to be iced over. Then you put the rest of the drinks, then another layer of ice, then drinks, then ice. And that's how it goes. Not like you've seen us do in the past where it's just all ice and then slam drinks on top and you can't fit them in. What time are we on, guys? Five to one. <laughs> Five to one. Five to one. So we got camp set up. Yeah. Jason, a great job of setting up the uh, kitchen and bar area. Yeah. We got the chairs, the yeah. tent, and the gazebo. Yeah. It's a bit warm. Yeah. When do we start having fun? Yeah, when do we start drinking? I'm currently sat in the sun right now, but you know what? That's fine, because what we've all agreed on is we're going to take it in turns that every 10 minutes we're going to rotate seats so everyone gets this shit seat right here. So in our friendship group, we'll argue about anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes we will. So what we want you to do is settle this argument. Who's got the best horns? So here they are, cycling through on the screen now. I'm gonna label them A, B, C, D, E. And you tell us in the comments who's got the best one. Change places. Oh, let's go. There's a ACDC pop-up like dive bar thing uh, around this area somewhere. We don't know where, we don't know how long it's open for. We don't really know fucking anything. He sent a screenshot of a tweet a week ago. Might not even exist. It does, I saw it on the news this morning. He saw it on the news this morning. Because there's not much going on today at site, aside from to speak to our lovely neighbors, we're going to the ACDC dive bar. So I just, I just asked the lady that's come next to us and she said that it's mainly outside, which is slightly annoying because I was really looking forward to being in a nice air conditioned bar. Well, we'll see what it's like eh but you know what they say shut the fuck up it is officially 37 degrees and guess what i'll say it it's coming it's warm still ain't getting me out of the black skinnies though mate that's for sure legs don't get hey, warm hey you know what would be great in this heat what these yes hey there's yours you? welcome to the usa edition of independent toilet review now we're pretty much the only fucking ones here aside from a few hundred so it's looking nice and tidy i'm having a sit down wee just to change it up a bit because i know raz is stood up in the next cubicle we've got the amenities here and there's even the urinal for the big lads i'll be using that later but i need to sit down for a second all in all very good big up power trip <sighs> it's a long walk this to this fucking acdc bar we're not even fucking horrible not even. why did we think let's go to the acdc bar 
at half three, it's 20 past three. When it's literally the hottest, it's gonna be all day. Because then it can only get better. No, because it's gonna be hotter tomorrow. <laughs> You didn't say that, it was 37 degrees. Yeah, it's going to be 38 tomorrow. Oh, great. I'm just, uh, not to be a drama queen, but like, I can't even, I feel like I'm about to die. It's bad, isn't it? I've that never is, felt that is heat like a, this. That is being a drama queen, though, isn't it? I've been to quite a lot of hot countries. Um, yeah. This is the hottest I've ever been to. I'm just really not handling this heat well. I feel sick. Yeah. I feel like I could faint almost. Just get a beer down, you'll be all right. And Stop vaping. Yeah. Well, I've only just started again. I haven't vaped for about 20 minutes. Get some oxygen in your lungs. I've stopped vaping. I've not vaped for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, first of all, Nick, the Uber driver, amazing. Some great recommendations for food there, so thank you so much, Nick. Second of all, this place looks sick. This looks great. Here we are, and there's air conditioning. Oh, this is great, man. This is sick. The place we are now is effectively not to do with Power Trip Festival. It's called the ACDC Dive Bar, the high voltage bar or something. Yeah. And what it is, is it's about 10 minutes away from site in an already existing pub and they've given it an ACDC makeover. That's really clever because it means all the merch that they sell here, they don't have to give Golden Voice a cut for people that put on Power Trip. So that means all that money is going straight into Brian Johnson's pocket. And I'm happy for it to do that because he's a nice guy. $70. What for the clutch? Yeah. It's leather though. Are you, not, are you not rocking and rolling? Yeah, I'm dressed as Angus today, do you have to see? Uh, yeah, Aberdeen Angus beef, maybe. It'll be annoying carrying her that around with you, wouldn't it? Do they have any good vinyls, or is it all ACDC? All ACDC. For those about to shite, we salute you. I'll tell you what's nice about being here. <laughs> so I just bought seven drinks and tipped 20%, $40. There's three trucks in here that I can see for food. One of them sells tacos. So I've got this sexy taco. Um, they gave me this salsa and said, would you like something a bit spicier? So they gave me that down there and said it's super spicy. If it is spicy, I'm gonna tell you in about a minute. After seeing Dan get one of these, and then seeing Rob get one of these, I also had to get one of these. This looks good. <laughs> Can't have nice these days. Six hours later. I've had three hours of ACDC and I'm fucking sick of it. Well, good news, because ten minute walk up the road, there's a sports bar, a very welcome change of pace where I doubt we'll have won ACDC, so. And now go. Jaywalking, mate, in the US of A. They call it Dan walking up around here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why are we walking like a fucking gimp? Not like an Egyptian. That looks very much closed. Should we go back to Power Trip the festival we spent $3,000 well, to be at? we're definitely not going in there, so let's do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we are, back on site at Power Trip. And the good thing is, it's much cooler now. It don't feel 31, does it? Oh, it feels, oh. feels much cooler. Are we off to that bar? Yeah, but I just don't think it's going to be open. Yeah, Mr. Hands is the guy that got fucked by the horse and then died. Oh. I'll send you a link. No music in here, mate, just some sports. You know what, mate? I've just decided I love sports. Yeah? Think, would it have killed him to put some fucking music? It's called the Holy Dive Bar. Oh my god. That is so expensive. That's really expensive. God. $44 for a, a certain Metallica whiskey. Plus tax. Plus tax. How much is just a beer? 14 quid for a Modelo. $14 for a Modelo. We've got loads of them at camp. Do we want to sit in here and watch sport? It's not. Is it not? Well, there's no music on. It's fucking going so off. So the vibe's music. dead. And it's $14 for a Modelo that we've got loads of at camp. Yeah. We'll have one. We'll have one. Well, but we've we got. Stay now, we do have one. We've walked our way here. I'm sorry, we're, saying, we're sitting over there on that table and we're going to have a good time. But you're buying mine. Fine. Guess how much these two wines were? I'm going to say they were $18 each. I guess say uh, 33. 46. 72. He must have made it. $72 for, for these. And here's a 330ml can. $72. If they could just play like some Drake or some Doja or just something to get the vibes up. I'm so sick of hearing like this just guitar it's over and over. Yeah, this is the wrong fucking festival. Guess how much this one? $38. You're not going to believe what's 
over there. I'll give you a clue, it's really improved Mary's mood. Cook. No. And it's over there. Mine. It's literally just over there, 380 million miles away. What's happened here? Why have the lights gone blue and the music gone off? Yeah, I don't think you noticed, but the lights have gone blue. Apparently that means it's kicking out time. It can't be kicking out time, it's 10 p.m. It's bad and because it's so blue you can see all of Raz's freckles. Surely it's not time to go back to camp. <laughs> Night one of power trip, which admittedly is day zero, not started yet. It's been fucking dead here. Absolutely dead. God, that was yeah, that was great. so boring. Just to just think like how many great nights we've had at Coachella. And this is yeah. the same property, could have the same vibe, but they just went, nah. And it's twice as expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah it is. We might have not had the most exciting evening, but we've had a funny one. Yeah. yeah. And we've got the tallest vehicle in the campsite, which is kind of cool. So where can I have a piss? Oh, well, here we are in the van. We've got me and Raz down here. Yeah. Jake and Mary up top. That's day zero complete of Power Trip 2023. And we're ending it in a very hot van with four people up at the top with no ventilation. And today's been funny. We've had a lot of laughs. Good night, Mary. Good night. We'll see you in the AM. Good night. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. But Jake is snoring really fucking loudly. I'm in the tent outside at the back end of the gazebo and I can still hear him. Morning. Oh, morning. It's 7 a.m. It's a lovely that. morning. I've just seen the showers over there. Are they free? Yeah. No way. It's quite a few of them, long row of them. Uh, you, some do have shit heads like you. This is like prison. Which one of these is hot? What a lifesaver. Fantastic. How good was that, Raz? God, that was perfect, wasn't it? Absolutely perfect. A shower in the morning just re energizes you. And when you got one like that, energized. And for free in Coachella as well. Yeah. Mad. Lovely and warm. None of this cold shit. I really <laughs> liked. I, you said like halfway through, oh, I think mine's gone cold. I was like, oh, yeah, I think mine's done that too. No, I just had the cold. Yeah, I did as well. I did as well. <laughs> Mary, you're like a guy like Pumba from fucking Lion King, you know. What a really funny. No, just. Person. Well, well, Pumba's one of my favourite people. Anyone want some coffee? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you get some oh, coffee. Thanks, man. Hey, Raj, you want a coffee? Absolutely. Yeah, Raj, yeah. you get a coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have two coffees. Hey, what it do, yeah. what it is, eh? It says here, chilled coffee drink. Well, lean back and relax. <laughs> when I was a young woman. <laughs> yes, Pumba Ting. <laughs> it's a nice balanced breakfast, that. You think it's a fruit winder, but it's actually called a fruit by the foot. And it's fruit, so yeah, it's balanced, dickhead. Oh. They're good. More. <laughs> Should we do the race so you can slurp it up the quickest? Okay. He's using his hands. <laughs> Mate, it's so hard. <laughs> well, that's something I didn't need to see. Uh, uh, half seven in the morning. They're not very nice. No, they're not very nice, are they? So, obviously, nice warm day. Wearing the battle jackets. Need some sunglasses to protect our eyes from the rays of the sun. Okay. Don't know if that's for this kind of outfit, though. These ones that made me look like that villain from Men in Black 3. Yeah. Rock and roll specials. Aviators. And go for some aviators. Oh, yeah, that's the. They might be the ones, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You go with these ones? Yeah. Nice, all right. Yeah. We're going to go check out some of the activities in the campsite. It's 10 a.m. Uh, we've sat chilling for like an hour, three and a half hours, hours maybe. Yeah. yeah, now it's time to do something, get some money's worth out of this bitch. They're playing balls down there. Should we go have a game? Mm, that's kind of boring though. It's, it's, not, very, it's not, not very rock and roll, is it? Insert unfunny stepbrothers reference here. See some people sat down, so. Hey, I'm happy to sit down. It's a bit of shit, to be honest. What do you think of the activities? I don't really know what they mean. Like, I didn't know you were on at 4 pm. Fucking 
Do you know it's worth mentioning I am having a good time it is it is good it don't you know it feels like a rip-off for sure because ultimately it is but we haven't seen any bands yet the real tell will be at on Sunday night how we feel we're gonna check out this coffee with attitude it's a monster iced coffee I think so two doses of energy there perk me up sounds disgusting yeah so I got a latte you I got, got a, a mocha. mocha. And that was free, which is really good. You cannot argue with that. God, this is a look. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this one. Too hot, mate. Too hot. Finish with badminton, we yeah. move on to the next activity now, all four of us. Oh, you're so good. What time is it? Like fucking half, half eleven. 11 yeah. Morning. Oh, I was gonna say it's ice time. Oh sorry, it's ice o'clock Yeah. Man. Folks, I'm absolutely thrilled to tell you that this video is sponsored by our good friends at Eastpac. We have come here exclusively with Eastpac luggage and it is the absolute best and our favorite. I've got this, the Transit R tarp in black, which is incredible. There's a lot of storage, it's got wheels, it's got a couple of pouches to store your stuff in like jewelry. It's this big pouch on the front. Holds my lovely little Eastpac buddy. And that is bloody gorgeous. That holds my passport, a little bit of Tom Ford, and my mobile phone when I'm traveling. It's beautiful. I've got a really cool aesthetic set. I've got a lilac bum bag. And you can keep your Pop-Tarts in there as well. And I've got a gorgeous lilac Transit R two-wheel suitcase. They match my nails, they match my shoes, which are purple as well. It's just like nice to have stylish luggage when you're rolling through to America. Well, I've got the travel pack in black and it is incredible. 30 years warranty, cabin size, so I can take this on a plane, hand luggage. It's water resistant and it's built to resist. What more could I want? Other bags I've taken in the past, which looked bigger, didn't fit anywhere near as much in as this and it's just convenient having wheels it's the first wheeled suitcase i've owned it saves my shoulders a lot of hassle come with me and tip van i'm gonna let you in on a little secret you've seen my bag before so i'm not going to tell you all about it it's very similar to the rest of the guys but it is massive so when we were doing the shop the food shop at target i used the company card to get myself some sweets and because there's so much room in the east pack i've been able to fit all my stuff i need just in this side so in here we've got a big bag of sweets for when i get home thanks east pack this one here is called the connect case and it's the small version it's on four wheels so it glides really nicely through the airport it's got the uh the tsa approved lock there with the with the uh code uh, but one of my favorite features of this one is it's got this sleeve here for my laptop oh that is actually yeah. sick so i've not seen that so you got a space there for your laptop one for like your tablet or your ipad one for your phone there one for your cables and got some rob keller stickers oh wow i haven't seen them for a while head over to the east pack website and check out some bags they've got some great stuff and we love them they enable a load of stuff that we do here on tpd tv so thanks to east pack Woo, we love yeah, you east pack baby so me and rob we love spicy stuff i can handle spice better than him so tacky's apparently apparently meant to be really spicy. However, I've just opened these and I'm gonna tell you now, a crisp shouldn't be this color. That. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? That's Shrek's dick. Oh, Let's wow. try one of them. Are they really spicy, Jay? They're more sour than everything. We'll try one. They're than everything. They're sour. <laughs> they're sour. What the hell? I love oh. them. We're finally having some real drinks to get a bit drunk because hard seltzers, no matter how many you drink, especially in the heat, you just won't get drunk. Here's a fun fact for you. 
We went to Target and we had three bottles of vodka. Yeah. And we said, that's too many. Put one back. So we put one back and we've arrived here with four bottles of vodka. Look, if you're not... And you're, and you're, you're, not you're, and you're dissing me for, for filling my mass juice here and I meant to follow that. If you're not rough and roll enough to yeah. have an extra two bottles of vodka, then maybe you're at the wrong event. The bottles of vodka. Maybe you should be at fucking Bingley Festival. I've been to Bingley Festival. Well, maybe you should shit. be at... Why don't you go to Beat Murder? You don't have much in your library, do you, Mary? Yo, oh, that's, no, that's library. really good, that one. We are now going to go for the first time into the arena of Power Trip Festival 2023. Because it's not going to happen in 2024, so it's 2023. I'm excited! I'm excited to see what what's different between this and Coachella. Valley, can you stumble over your words some more, please? Oh, I believe me, I can definitely do that. Not to complain, but when you say you're going to open at four and it's this warm and everybody's come, there's no shade or shelter around here. It's not even like, it's 39 degrees now and it's, what time? 18 minutes past four, no communication. No, no, it's on the app saying maybe we won't be open for another 20 minutes. I'm fucking dying out here, and there's just they're not opening. Good morning, they're opening the gate. Are they? Are yeah. They? Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh, I know why. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. The wheels not turning. Oh, so shut up. The wheels not turning, but proud Mary is keeping burning. Rob, hands up, Rob. God, I, if you have to put your hands up in America, then so much wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a fucking school. Wow, and we're back. This looks familiar. I know, it's a little bit same, same. Oh, is this the merch queue? Yeah. Pete, we've only just got in. Right? Fucking so stupid. Means, everyone should get served dead quick because I've got loads of energy. So here, yeah, there's a massive 3D version lineup, and uh, you can get a picture in front of it. And guess what we did? We got a picture in front of it. Wow! You like the sound of that? Great, sound good? Man. Yeah. Woo! Right, Six hundred yeah. dollars. Hey, do you know what? It's all adding up, really. We should we should tally up like how much everything costs and work out at the end if it's worth it. Of course, it's worth it, mate, because we're not at home. So there's the headline merch as well. So you don't see that many places. Usually they just chuck it in merch shop. But here they've got Guns and Roses and Iron Maiden for today so you can go and get their exclusive merch. ID check complete. You need to get a wristband to make sure you can get booze so you don't keep showing your ID. So you go to ID check and go, yep, you're over 21. You can get booze. Here's a wristband to prove it. The big rainbow tower that's normally open for Coachella ain't open here and I don't know why but it's upsetting because it's an air-conditioned tower that you walk around in circles. Yeah. Looks you great. You know exactly why it's closed. Why? Because it's too colourful for us moshers. Being black, if it was a black tower, then yeah, we'd go in it, but it's too much colour, man. Hey, I want to get one of those Instagrammable, like, Coachella pictures in front of the tower while it's quiet. Do you know what? That's a great idea. And then we'll post them at Coachella. Yeah, we yeah. will. Yeah. Right, one by one. You go first, Russ. Hey, you know what's great? What's great, Raz? Unlike Coachella, the first time we came, yeah. you can just go to this bar literally right here. Right. And just go see a band over there. That Ra is a good Ra point. Rather than like the first time we came where you were like restricted to this little zone, you can just take a beer and just walk over Thank there. Thank you, Golden Voice. And it's mad that that's the thing. Well, I guess by increasing the prices by like $5 a drink, that's yeah, kind of what they enabled us to you do. Know. You're not having a drink? Right now. We'll see you all. You heard it here first. I'll have a water and a beer, I think. So, we've taken a stand this year that we're not going to tip anymore. And I usually tip just out of the embarrassment of when they turn the screen around and you have to say no tip in front of them. Just but people really, people. like, they're just at a festival, probably having a great time as well. They're going to see the bands too. The first time I we went to Coachella, we must have spent like $600 on tips. Yeah. yeah. Last night, we gave a $10 tip. And we've already wasted $600 on Matty Bridie's flight, who didn't show up, so we can't afford to lose another $600. I just got a burger. And it was $26. And it's better be the best burger I've ever had in my life. All right, that burger was shit. Um, I've had better from pretty much every other burger place I've ever been to and it was probably like three times the price of any other burger I've had at a festival. I eventually went for the chicken and rice and it was fine. It was the it was the only thing I saw that was like 
pretty good. $17, some rice, some chicken, and a little bit of soy sauce. It wasn't very nice. Overall, it was pretty shit. Nashville style spicy chicken. Oh, is it Nashville style? I think they must have Nashville style. It's America, mate. Yeah. yeah it's very nice. Is it? How nice is it? Because you're leaving a bit on your lip. Obviously, we haven't seen a band yet, but it, it looks a lot better than I thought. We were, uh, based on this image that they released, like it was sold as if the general admission standard standing area is like miles away. But it actually looks like we're gonna have a great view. This is a great arena that we're in here. It's fucking massive. That's one. One. Two. Past six, I made an art on in like 20 minutes, and we're just getting some final beers. In my case, a uh, strawberry hard seltzer, don't judge me. Um, and we're gonna go rock the fuck out. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. I'm always right. Spent $30.45 and a double vodka Sprite. So, this is what our tickets paid for this yeah. area, and you know what. It's this fine. is the exact it's area fine. we always choose to be in yeah. at any festival. Uh, I don't know what it is, whether it's like the time of day or the atmosphere or whatever, but I genuinely do feel like I'm about to watch like a, an actual headliner, and I guess I am. Like, I am made in a headline for many festivals. I'm about to watch a headliner, and uh, then they're going to go off stage, and then another even bigger headline is going to come on stage. We're about to be some of the very few in our generation that watch Iron Maiden do a support slot. have come to the bar we thought you know we'll do the princess diana special and help out the people get five drinks so everyone gets a drink you're only allowed to buy two drinks each we had to buy four and then queue up again and buy one what a fast Like I was just saying to the guys, I feel like if you got your foot in the door like 25, 30 years ago, it was probably a great show, but they're not doing anything to please like the everyman. Boring as fuck, not as bad as I was expecting. Yeah. But they haven't played any of the bangers that I like. Would it have killed them to play a Muse song? I know, it's so Probably too technically complicated for them. I just, I really can't get over his jeans. <laughs> I've done a quick dip out because drinking alcohol is making me tired and I can't be arsed of it anymore. So I'm going to have a quick smoke and see if that cheers me up for Guns N' Roses. So if you're from the UK, I'm sure you know about a great show called Four in a Bed. It really is the cream of the crop on British TV. People stay in an hotel, they just a bit bread and breakfast, they decide how much they want to pay. Like, this is how much I'm giving you, this is how much I'm you worth. We're basing this on £100 per band because there is, it, the ticket was $600, well, dollars. For that show, I would have paid um, $30 and not felt ripped off. However, uh, what is it on average? $100 a band? Yeah. I understand it's Iron Maiden. I understand the impact they've had. But for me, that was 30 that was thirty dollars and that's a stretch. I'm gonna have to severely underpay you and I'm gonna have to give you forty dollars because that was boring and shit. You guys are technically really good, 
This but you're just everything sounds the same. It's got you've got no differentiation between the tracks. And for that, you're getting forty dollars from me. I have a hundred dollars. I don't know, it's a headline performance. Would I pay 50? Probably not. I don't care that much. Would I pay? I'd probably pay more than 20, maybe 30 to 35 dollars. But I wouldn't be happy about it, put it that way. For that set that I made and just played, that headline quality set, I would pay no more than 25 dollars for that. I'm sorry, when you've got that many bangers and you insert that much shit, you ain't getting any of my hard-earned cash. We want to say a big thanks to our friends at Metal Thread Clothing in the United Kingdom for hooking us up with these sick custom power trip jackets. You've already seen how sick they are. We got all our own patches on them. They've made them specifically for all the bands that we like. And you can order one at metalthread.com. Here's a link, <laughs> check them out. And they do the Lord's work because they support the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, which is something that we're very passionate about. So cheers to Sophie and cheers to Metal Thread. Thank you for hooking us up this weekend. And making us look sick. Hey Rob, what's your favorite patch on your jacket? My favorite one is probably the one that, either the one that says Rob or the Neck Deep one, because yeah. I really like a band called Neck Deep. I don't know if you know that. What's your favorite patch on your jacket? Um, mine's probably the big Stray Cats one. Oh, that is cool. I didn't even realize that. That's my, uh, my dad's favorite band. Beer, 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 beer. So my favorite patch is probably the TPD one on the back or the Sophie Lancaster one. There you go. Cheers, Metal Thread. We appreciate that. Very, very kind of you. We love you. Mary gaslit herself into thinking she'd seen Guns N' Roses and she'd never had them. She watched an entire concert through a crystal that she has on her bedside table. Present company. Eclipse in present company. The coolest man alive. And he's so talented. He is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should sign him. Guns and Roses are killing it. Unbelievably amazing. November Rain is one of my favourite songs and I can't wait to see it live. Guess who's blessed us tonight? How long this set is? How long has it been? It is the longest set I've ever seen. Two and a half hours. Raz is on floor down here. Guns and Roses have been absolutely class. I want to make it clear. I am made of a shite. Guns and Roses have been outstanding. However, they've now been playing for this amount of time. The bar's closed. The set's still on. That should be a requirement that the bar's open as long as. Maybe they didn't anticipate Guns N' Roses playing for three and a half hours. It's got to be Paradise City. We've been informed that we do have a curfew, so parting is such sweet sorrow, but... But it is five to one. You've been an amazing crowd. Thank you. Thank you very much. If it wasn't for the curfew, they'd have definitely played Don't Cry, I'm telling you.
for Guns N' Roses tonight, I really did enjoy it. Yeah. It was too long. Uh-huh. But if I was going to an arena in London to see that, I'd have paid $90 for that. And I'd feel like I really got my money's worth. It was excellent. $90. For me, that was nearly perfect. They might almost get that $100 but I'm gonna keep five for myself and try find a really cheap bar where I can get myself a five dollar pint. Obviously you can't get that here, but like somewhere I'll be able to get one. 95 for me. Three hours is a long time. That's a very long time when I'm this tired, but you were definitely worth the hundred dollars. I would, you know what? A hundred dollars dead on. I would definitely pay that. You're getting the full hundred from me. I'm gonna full pay you because you were thoroughly entertaining. It was a bit funny and awkward seeing Axel and Slash interact on stage and I say interact loosely because Axel went and put his hand on Slash's shoulder one time and Slash didn't even look up. Alright, that's power trip day one. And if you've ever heard of the Tough Mudder, oh, I think we just did the Tough Mosher. <laughs> was that an endurance test or what, folks? Mary, there's a camera here. We'll, we'll, dis we'll discuss it further tomorrow. Value for money you can't hide. That clip there was basically just to help me see if there was a queue for the shower. What are we going to do today? Um, drink. We can't just drink. I mean, we can. Is there anything we've not done? Have we done everything? Let's have a shower and then we'll see what the crack is. I still can't believe they're free. I'd pay like $20 a day <laughs> for that. So charge us next time. <laughs> At Coachella, this area here is full of like food and most notably the spicy pie, which I wish was here, but sadly it's not here and you're very limited to food selection with these four vans. One of them's a smoothie van, one of them's an ice cream van, and then you've got something good LA, loaded tot sliders and fajitas and taste of south. Taste of soul on wheels. Taste of soul on wheels. So this is a breakfast burrito, cost $17. It's got chicken, cheese, egg, and hash browns in it. And it's the only thing this truck serves. It's shit. I hate to complain, folks, I really do. But I've just had some of the worst service I've ever received at this something good LA. Over 20 minutes just to get served, and I was the only person in the queue. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I got the sliders and the fries and some hot sauce, which is always welcome. And despite the terrible service, the food is actually very, very nice. Did a job, I guess. It put some food in my belly. Two bags of ice, the popsicle, and a toothbrush. How much? Oh, God, I can't remember. $40 or something. $40? Yeah. Hey, Thatcher's Britain, eh? Thatcher's Britain. Why don't you come to the most rock and roll festival in the world? It's not... And no. what you do for most of your day is just sit between think, between think two people right in an internet like cafe Windows and snapping. two people talking about Mac OS features. Minimise? No. What? what? I never minimise my windows. Do you not? No. Never. Sometimes I accidentally do command Rock and roll, baby. Right, this is my piss bottle, so I've pissed in the middle of the night, leave it. It gets heated up by the sun, and it fucking stinks like raw meat. Give it a smell, Val. <laughs> Absolutely. Come on. Someone's Someone's there is no... I can't smell it because it's my sister. I think because it's your sister, you're the only one who can smell it. No, you stay out of it. <laughs> Give me goosebumps. Oh, I can see the hairs on your arm like stood up. Oh my fucking god. It doesn't look like much, but every now and then I just keep looking over at this gap in between tarps and gazebos. And I can see a palm tree and a flag, and it's just dead nice, and I really like that. And we're just chilling here, and it's a really good part. Probably don't look that good to you, but it does to me. All right, this is the evening that we came here for. And this yeah. is the big one, folks. It's ACDC night. This is why we paid to be here. This is the turning point of whether or not this festival is worth it. Mary's got a bottle of vodka in her bag is she gonna get through we'll find out right now <laughs> Dan's getting searched but luckily I'm the only yeah. one with a bag and a vodka yeah. you know what? Nons, did they find your uh, spine mate or is no, it still missing said, hang on a minute you're a bit too metal for this festival yeah you might want to calm down so that is just far too long for merch man it's been the same size every time we've come past this area do you know what's even more mental than this what 
I'm literally seeing people in this queue wearing merch already. So it means they've already queued once and realised, I kind of want something else. Oh, should we get some horns? Yeah. Hey, guys. Guys, guys let's get some horns. It's plastic. $100. Shite. So we're not what, getting them. What about, I think we should get at least a pair for Mary. But I'm wearing a bandana. It only works if we all have them for like a photo or something. Okay. Well, maybe we could Photoshop a photo. Well, okay. So the flagship food vendor at this event is called Pies and Lows, and it's pizza spot put on by a celebrity chef who I've never heard of, but I'm not really in the chef world. So we're going to try that out and see if it's any good. See if it's better than Coachella's spicy pie. Oh, oh that, that, that does look good. That, that doesn't look great, that does it? Do you, know, do you think? I think it looks quite good. God, it just looks well. Really crispy underside. Is it? Gorgeous. Well, what we've all agreed is the value actually wasn't bad when you think about it. All right, it, it was okay, wasn't it? And it was. It was a nice pizza. Filled us up. It was all right. It was all right. Fine. But like, there's no denying that's a complete fucking ripoff. Oh, thank you. We're probably only going to see ACDC ones. It's a souvenir for life. We look funny in the photos. You know, it's what money well spent that, I think. All right, so first band right, of that, the that, evening. That, that. Judas Priest, the band we've seen before, but we had to leave. And we're going to go and see them in full tonight. And this crowd is absolutely gigantic. ACDC might actually end up being the biggest crowd that we've ever been in. I'm not sure the numbers of this festival, but here they are on screen now. And then here's the Elton John number from Glastonbury. So I guess we'll find out together in the edit. An advert after paying 600 quid, you get yeah. a fucking advert on the screen. the value for money report. I respect them tremendously. I already said I think they should be more celebrated than Iron Maiden. However, I'm not too much of a personal fan. I'd have paid $30 for Judas Priest and I know that's gonna make some people wince, but that is what it is, it's, it's, it's how I feel. Money-wise, I think you probably got more for your money with Iron Maiden. I'd probably say I'll pay the same, which I think was $25. Judas Priest are good, like they're all right, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'll give you 60 because I I, pre I respect your musical talent, but you nearly burst my eardrum with your high ass note. Definitely not a hundred, but they've got a few a few great songs. I reckon they're maybe fifty dollar band. Shit, in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'd pay 20 quid for them, you know, I'd pay less for them than Guns N' Roses, 15 quid, fuck them. We're gonna get some monsters. Well, we're not just monster just monster. So we may have played a little bit of a practical joke on you when we said we were ordering just the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the goods. I don't know if you're hard enough to handle the goods. Well, why don't you put yours in first, and then we'll see who's hard enough. God, that's going to be fucking disgusting. That is going to be fucking awful. Have you got enough monster in your can? Well, yeah, it's a can of monster. Oh, sorry, have you got... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time to find out if I put enough vodka in my can. Burn up the teeth! <laughs> oh, he's put enough in! Uh... Oh. Yeah! Let's see if you got it right this time, Raz. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> 
Well, it's very rare that I get to tick a, a band off my bucket list and I might have a heart attack in 10 minutes and die. Fingers crossed there. But if I don't, then I'll be checking off the second one this year. ACDC, a band that I haven't played a show in over eight years. Fucking outstanding. Wow. ACDC, guaranteed one of the best bands I've ever seen in my life. Possibly the best. If I'd have paid $220 for that, I'd have, I'd have still felt like I got a good deal. One of the most iconic bands I think there is. You know, it's the band that really sold us to come here. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give them the same treatment as Guns N' Roses because they're both great, but they're both great for different reasons. Ninety-five dollars for ACDC. I'm gonna take the forty that I underpaid Judas, and I'm gonna pass that on over to you, ACDC, because yeah. I would say that was potentially the best gig I've ever seen. They were playing like somewhere local or anywhere in in the UK. Would I pay? hundred pounds to go see him the answer is absolutely would i pay 150 <laughs> the the answer is absolutely would i pay 200 i think that's that's the deal breaker i think 200 pounds or like 200 dollars there's a bit of variance there but i think 200 dollars goes straight to acdc at least one third of the value of this whole thing goes to acdc and i'm convinced we'll talk about this more on the podcast i'm convinced this whole festival has been designed around acdc there's a fucking band right i've come into this not really knowing much acdc they fucking i had a great time all the way through i was the same level of aching same level as tired as last night but it was just better tonight because it was acdc and not fucking boring guns and roses Right, after a storming fucking set from ACDC, keep we're gonna going to keep the party yeah. going. Yeah. We're going to the Holy, Holy Dive, Dive Bar, Bar. Oh. Get me a beer. Um, which is just around the corner. And we're just going to keep this fucking vibe going all night, man. Hey, oh God, it looks popping, mate. It's about to go off in here. Where's the, where's the fucking music? It actually looks like there's nobody serving at the bar. The bar that's in the middle with nobody around it and no lights on. Oh, he's right. Hey, look, you can see from here, it's closed. What the fuck's going on with this weekend, man? Like, you, yeah, you've got six banging headliners, but what the fuck else have you got uh, going on? Uh, excuse me. We've only seen two so far. Right. Yeah, you've you got three banging headliners. Should we go back to camp? I'm sorry about this video. Like, I know you want to see us get fucked up and that, but blame Golden Voice. 
tonight me and Raz are in the top sleeper cabin because it's just a change and it changes it up and it's fair for everyone as well it's very warm ACDC was so good that we didn't even think about how warm it is but I'm sure I'm gonna wake up to a gorgeous view here's the view at the minute though morning Jay morning Robert ACDC were good last night, yeah? God, they were so good. Like, we, it's easy to say, like, oh, yeah, like, ACD, yeah, but, like, genuinely, like, when they are, the age that they are... Outstanding. And they are still hitting the bar so high. Killing it. So today we've got Tool and Metallica. Now, last time we saw Metallica, we weren't too impressed. Clean That's slate for them. And you know what's interesting? Like, Tool is probably the band on the lineup that I'd have gone, like... No, I really don't care about them. But actually, they're the one I'm probably most proud to seeing because the, I've listened to them a lot coming up to this. And they've sounded pretty good, you know. We've got one mission for the next six hours. Yeah. Ooh, I like Drink as much of this alcohol as possible. Yeah. We've got a lot of alcohol left. If there's something in your way... What are you drinking? <laughs> what? What are you drinking? I don't know. Show us. Well, since it's the last day, it is operation cleanup time. We've got to be respectful to the grounds. Uh, so we're taking all of our shit over to the bins. Um, it's a, it, no one wants to do it. I get it. It's really annoying. Uh, but you got to do your bit. Oh, no, camera's on Jake's helping, is he? Oh, yeah. Behind you. Oh, fat people recycle too. Bali, I've got a present for you. Oh, it better be a million pounds. Please it's million almost pounds. as good. Close your eyes, open your mouth. That doesn't it, look like a million pounds, though. Be chill. <laughs> Oh, 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 I don't want that one it's now. It's going on t-shirt. Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. Mary. I'm exempt. No you're not. No you're not. Come on. So the vodka yesterday we got to take it in. It definitely got us more drunk. We just got some monsters. We're going to Holy Dive Bar where you don't get your bag searched. So we'll be able to definitely take in at least one bottle. Probably two. And then we don't have to spend the extortionate prices here. Another bottle. Bottle two down. Where's the bin? All right, so it's the last day of Power Trip Festival. Yeah! We're going in a little early. It's 3.30 p.m. We're going to the Holy Dive Bar to do some whiskey tasting. Perfect in the blistering hot sun. Nice whiskey that we all like. It's blackened whiskey, which is Metallica's whiskey. So we're going to give it a whirl. Right, surprise, surprise. You had to pre-book it. So even though they were advertising in the app all fucking day, come and try them, come and try them. We got here to try them. It's fucking God, sold out. We had another fucking bogus operation by Power Trip Festival. She did say, luckily, we can go and try them at the bar. You just have to pay for them. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get one. Well, I'd, actually, I'll tell you what. The price of the bar for one of them is like $44. Should we get some Wish us luck. So we have a game of rock, paper, scissors to see who gets the drink first? Rock, right. oh, oh, she's got no disease. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Why'd you have to go that way? You know what, actually? Not as bad as I expected. It's not great, but it may as well. It could be just any whiskey, that. Yeah, that could be any whiskey at all. Right, we've come into the arena quite early to get some food and to try and get some merch or at least to attempt to try and get some merch. The queue's been colossal, so fingers crossed it's all right today. Maybe not, eh? Uh, not for me, mate. Not worth it. No. I still want some. We're going to try the vegan option. Just so you know, there is a vegan option here, and it's hot chicken, my favorite fucking thing in the world. So let's give it a whirl. So as I was ordering, some guy with a camera, like a golden voice guy came over to us and was like, do you want your meal for free? So I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, we have to make it exactly as it looks on the menu and then take a photo of you and put it up on the Instagram or whatever. So we told him to fuck off and pay $30 for the fried, fried pickles and the vegan chicken burger. Let's give it a whirl. Possibly a contender for the worst festival food I've ever had in my entire life. That was atrocious. I'm glad I didn't have that was so dry. $30 a piece as well. 
terrible. As you're probably aware by now, I like trying the weird shit, the stuff that you're probably not gonna eat because you're in a desert and lobster's not fresh. I'm gonna try this lovely little place that sells lobster corn dogs. I'm not really sure how to tackle. Do you, like, do you eat that? I don't really know. Like, it's a lobster tail, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, eat it like a lollipop. That's just like eating lobster shell. The only thing we've not done here, or at least not tried to do yet, is go on the big wheel, which is much smaller than the Coachella big wheel. Holy fuck. Bum bum bum. Ba -dum -ba -bum. <laughs> Got any grapes? Uh, how much is this lemonade? Not clue. Nine quid? Not clue. $16. For a lemonade? Yeah. That's more expensive than a beer. What the fuck? This better be the best fucking lemonade. <laughs> you know, we do this all the time. We're calibrated to £6.50 drinks, you know, £15 burgers. We're used to spending this kind of money, which we shouldn't be, but, but we are, unfortunately. Coming here has been so financially jarring. And I really feel just like a, just like a pawn in the, you know, in the capitalist game. And I don't want to sound like Danny White. I just feel like part of a corporate soulless machine this weekend. And I guess maybe I should have been feeling like that for a long time. But when you're paying seventeen dollars for a fucking lemonade, something's got to change. And they have a tip on top of it. But it's not going to change because we're going to keep buying them, which is the annoying fucking thing. But. It's just, it makes you wince the price of that. Ready for tool? Yeah, I think so. Like, I, again, I said this earlier, I don't know much about tool, but from what I've heard, a few little things, I think they're pretty good. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been. I roll deep in muddy water. You practically rain. Yeah. No, not for these boys. Yeah. It's not their style to have an on oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll wait it out. We'll wait out. Super quick one from me. Uh, tool. I don't know. Like the visuals were good. Like they were like obviously pro level. Uh, the songs good it for me. Maybe twenty thirty dollars. I don't know, something like that. Tool pretty fucking sick. Aren't my usual. Bit weird how they change tempos a lot. I'm not a big fan of that. But, you know, it's a bit sexy music. It's like something you can put on in the background while knobbing someone. So I'll give them 50 quid for that. They were really good, and I've never listened to Tool or heard any Tool song before this. Something a little bit different from everything we've heard this weekend, not like proper thrashy, <laughs> if that's even what everyone else has been. Yeah, they were good, but I won't give them $100. I'll give them 70 to keep my attention for that entire set, knowing no songs, I've got to give full credit and full respect to that band. If I knew more songs and went to see them again, I think I'd pay, you know, I think I'd be happy playing maybe $70 for that. I thought that was brilliant. Remember when we were at Coachella this year? Yeah. And what happened on the last night? We lost the key. Yeah. Why are we walking back into the fucking something arena? Something much worse. We've lost something even more important. More important than the key? Yeah. yeah. The keys can be replaced. For, for much less than whatever this costs. Thank fucking God for that. That is fucking... In this sea of people, we've managed to find it. Both of them, yeah. Yeah, both vodkas. Have we got them both? Yeah, that's a minute. Yeah. Unmistakably, there are vodkas. Good, my heart was fucking racing God, we're there. so stupid. Here's something cool. We went to get our five monsters. They charged us 
then could only find two. Moral of the story is get them all out first, then transact them. However, we got a refund for all of them and got to yep. keep the two for the inconvenience. So that's some and, good and service. And you know, we snuck in a special person. So we essentially got two vodka monsters. That's for right, free. baby. That's how we do it. Right then, so here we are at Power Trip Festival in California. One of the biggest events that's been put on all year and something that seemed like it was just a joke or a prank because it looked so good when the poster came out. So what do we think? Well, I'm here to report that, to be honest, this time, it's not actually been that good. It really hasn't. I mean, obviously it has been good because we've come to fucking the desert to see ACDC and Metallica and Guns N' Roses. Obviously that's good, but it's felt completely soulless. We go to a lot of events like this, and this is the most soulless, cash-grabby version of this that I've ever seen. Everything about it is just about making money, and I know there's an industry to upkeep, but even down to every notification the Power Trip app sends you is about making some more money. Come and upgrade, go and buy some food, go and buy some merch. I felt like a real corporate shill coming here. Heavy metal and hard rock is meant to be music for outcasts, right? It's meant to be music for the people, and this is just a corporate shill event. And I'm, I've had a great time, but I'm very disappointed. It could have been so much more, and it gives you appreciation for stuff like Download and Bloodstock and um, going to see the 1975. To be honest, this has been the worst event I've ever been to. Uh, I liked ACDC, Guns N' Roses, but the rest of it, there's nothing to do. They didn't even open the tower. Um, it's good if you've got an RV and you're rich, you can sit in there all day and you don't really want to do much, but this seems like an event for retired people, not for people who want to have any semblance of fun after the music. So it's really been shit, but I really enjoyed the music. So I've actually had a good weekend. I've had fun, but that's not without saying that it's not been boring at times. Yeah, it's been hot. Yeah, there's been nothing to do during the day, but we've seen Guns N' Roses. We've seen ACDC. We're about to watch Metallica. Now, a weekend that involves those three is surely gonna be good. Everyone is right. This festival is for the rich retired folk that just wanna sit on their ass all day. But do you know what? It's much better than sitting at home doing fuck all. It's a perfect way to end the brilliant festival season that we've had because we've got glorious sunshine, we're watching great bands, and you know what? We're having a good time while doing it. Power trip, it's all right. It's fine. It's been warm. It's been like fucking 40. ACDC were fucking brilliant, but every other band I could do without seeing. That ACDC is the only reason to come here. And it was a festival that I went to that was barely a festival. And I spent too long trying to get here and too long trying to get home. It was a bit of a waste of my time other than ACDC, who was fucking fantastic. Listen to more of our thoughts on the podcast coming soon. So for the price of the festival, shit, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I've seen Iron Maiden, who I'm not asked about, but they are all right. I've seen Guns N' Roses. Rose. <laughs> Yes, Long -haired game. I've seen Guns N' Roses, who I'm not that asked about, but they were good. Uh, I've seen Judas Priest, who I'm not that asked about. And I've seen Tool, who I'm not that asked about, but they were good. Uh, but tonight, it's Metallica, and they're going to smash it. Other than that, though, throughout the day, fuck all to do. Like, literally not. Um, other than sit at your camp and have a chill time with your brothers and sisters. Because that's what it's all about to me, and that's what makes a festival. So I've had a very good time. It's just the music's been okay. And it's expensive. It's an expensive corporate shill. This was potentially once in a lifetime, which is why we couldn't miss it. But it is a shame that, you know, 10 years ago, this was astronomically out of our reach. And it's probably out of most normal people's reach as well. And we're so blessed that if it wasn't for this stupid channel, we wouldn't have been able to come. There's no way we'd have been able to make this happen. So we owe it to you. But um, you're welcome, because you don't have to come. You don't have to sit through the fucking pain and torture of that 11-hour fucking flight and the three-hour drive and all the rest of this We shit. are so we're grateful. Here before that you shouldn't have bothered unless you love AC. We bothered on your behalf and we couldn't have done it without you. So thanks so much. Let's make that abundantly clear. We are incredibly grateful to be in our positions.
Metallica have been celebrating since Friday night with all of our heroes Aww. standing right there checking it out and getting just excited, motivated. They have helped Metallica become Metallica, I tell you. I got to see my heroes this weekend. Whoever you came to see, you're here right now, and you are now a part of the Metallica family. Yeah! Do you want heavy? This is for you. And yo, do you want heavy? Do you want it? Metallica! Gives you heavy, Let me tell you, Metallica were good. Metallica rules! All right, power trip, we ended on a high there, for sure. That was absolutely electrifying. Now it's bedtime, so we'll catch up with you back at the van, probably, as we do some nonsense as we clamber into bed. <laughs> hey, you're speaking my language, show me. I would have paid $120 for that, and I'd have felt really happy. That would have been good value for money, $120. Metallica fucking killed it. I'm not gonna lie. That is the best I've ever seen them. And I've seen them two other times. But I'd have happily paid the entire fucking entry price just for that set. Like, fuck every other band on lineup. They were fucking great. ACDC, yeah, they were good. But I don't know how much buying. Metallica, though. Mmm, give me that heavy bibby, it. I think I'm inducted into the Metallica family by now. We've seen them a few times, and that was brilliant. That was probably worth at least $100. Fucking great. Well, if you'd have asked me before that Metallica set how much I'd pay for it, God, that number would be low going off what I saw I download this year. But you know what? That was fucking brilliant. I gave ACDC $95 yesterday. Metallica, you can get 90. It was redeeming themselves in every way, and it was amazing. And I was really tired. They were so fucking good. And I'm desperate for a piss. That's what I mean. I, I didn't even go for a wee because it was that good. I was holding it. I would give them the full hundred dollars. Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> All right, so here we are at the truck stop where we always come for a shower. Some nice looking noodles here. You know what's really good about this? Well, I've already done this. So just like always, we've come to the same little gas station um, to get a shower. Well, thanks so much for watching this vid. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry if there was quite a lot of complaining in there, but that's just how the event was. Now we're back. I don't know about the rest of the gang, but I woke up this morning and I would have killed for a hard iced tea and to sit in the 40 degree heat and do nothing. But when you're there, it can be quite taxing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sat in the normal spot because Jake's in my seat because he smashed his laptop like an idiot. So he's using the Mac mini to do the graphics for this video. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We did have a good time. It just could have been so much better. And uh, hopefully we came across uh, in the video as um, as that. I'm kind of put off a bit now because the thing's fallen down. But thanks to everyone on screen for supporting the channel. We literally couldn't have done this trip without you. We can't really do anything without you. Uh, so thank you so much. Thanks to Metal Thread for hooking us up with these jackets. Uh, I'm really hoping that there'll be an opportunity for these to be worn again because they're pretty cool. And I'm sure we'll find a reason. And also, massive thanks to Eastpack, um, my personal favourite sponsor to work with. Everyone's really happy with their products, so check out eastpack.com um, and grab some bits on there. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you many more times before the end of the year. Mwah.